combat NTDs. We reaffirm our commitment to ending NTDs. We will do this in honor of Mwede. We will keep her reputation and her good name intact. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Foko. Thank you so much, Dr. Foko. Attended program here in Canada. We are held together by the daughter of Tanzania. The daughter of Tanzania. She believes so much. One of you will come to stay. Get prepared. Dr. Julius Charles Masalika, please. The program manager of uh, the Set Triangle Institute, Awara Chia International. Niki wakilisha mashirika ya siya ya kusarikari, na wadao katika kudibiti magonja ni ukuha ya pewe kipaumbele, ya ni NTD, ambayo marehemu Dr. Mwere alikuwa mebobea. Nina wakilisha aratia, Helen Keller International, Set Savers, World Vision, Crown Agent, Sister Sonasis Control Initiative na wengine wote ambao sija wataja hapa. Kwa pamoja tunaungana na waongolezaji wengine wote kutoa salamu za pole kwa familia kwa kuondokewa na mpendwa Dr. Mwere. Sisi kama jumuiya katika kudhibiti magonjwa yaliyokuwa hayapewi kipaumbele tumepoteza kiongozi mwalimu na sasa sana Dr. Masanika Eh, naomba ni kukaribishe sasa Profesa Evelyn Mbende na Dr. Mary Maige mmoja wapo kati yenu ataweza kutuakilisha kwa dakika mbili tafadhali toka Tanzania Scientific Community wakati huo ni kuombe mai ask Dr. Maria Kamp from Wewelu Road and Girls to get prepared Uh, my name is Professor Evelyn Bebe, as I've been introduced, and uh, I'm standing here on behalf of the Tanzania Scientific Community. The scientific community is deeply saddened by the passing of our fellow scientist, Dr. Mwene Malichela, in recognition of her immense contribution to science and health, they formed a special coalition led by the Secretariat to have come together in Onsam, to ensure that Dr. Mwele's contribution science to science is duly recognized. Our long-term goal is to ensure that the legacy that our colleague has left behind continues to inspire the next generation of scientists. By initializing our, by institutionalizing our efforts, the scientific community will organize scientific seminars and symposia to honor our work ensure that the biography book is published. Discussions are also ongoing to establish a science award that will go towards young women scholars forever remembered by the scientific community in this country. Thank you. Lakini na pena kusuma kwa ni mshukuda wa wale wa sichana wa na sayansi mbao wa melelewa chini ya mwuzi wa Dr. Mwere. Niko hapa on behalf of the Tanzania Scientific Community to deliver a poem to honor the work of Dr. Mwere Manuchena. Your love, your kindness, charisma translated in all boundaries. Our beloved, as you lay before us today, we choose not to mourn you, but to celebrate your life. The news of your passing was unbearable to us all. The strong baby that we knew had found some peace in you, so peaceful and true. We want to tell you that we found comfort in, the, in uh, each other as we praise in admiration all the greatness that you left behind. Our beloved, as you lay before us today, we choose not to mourn you, but to celebrate your life. Science was your true calling, always an inspiration to us all. 
the science community has indeed uh, lost a great leader, a legend. Because of you, neglected tropical diseases are no longer neglected in Tanzania and all. You have lived a life of purpose, and your footprints, your legacy, will always uh, live on. So long, our beloved. Our pledge to you, as you lay before us today, is that we choose not to mourn you, but to celebrate your life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Mbene and Dr. Maige from Tanzania Scientific Community. May I now welcome Dr. Maria Kam from Weruweru Golden Girls. You have only two minutes, Weruweru Golden Girls. Meanwhile, Kaka Ima Kasianju, Kwaniaba ya Familia ya Waipopo, Tunakuomba na wewe uitayari, Weza kutuwa salamu kwa kifo. Dr. Kam, you have two minutes, please. Eh?
na hata kwa dunia kama alivyoagiza baba wa taifa mwalimu Julius Kambana Ndere maagizo hayo mayanuku nikiafananisha na kazi na juhudi tulizosikia leo za doctor alipotuacha na yasoma maneno hayo baba wa taifa na hayo maneno hadi to the people to the country and to the world this mwele di mongela mwele mongela mwele i stand here mwele with all your colleagues you salute for having fulfilled the wishes of the philosophy of our father of the nation and that is pay back to your country pay back to your country don't go out use the money of the poor be have a grandiose life but forget your country forget your people when you never did that google sanity taifa lapo mwanangu Mwele, we salute you. Mwele, we are here to be witnesses of your great life of commitment. Do they sit with my bush, etc. Do the youth and to the development of science and technology of the highest standard. Not with the accepting the mediocrity. Dada huyu alitulea 
na mara nyingi dada Mwele alikuwa ni mmoja wetu ambapo tulikwenda pale nyumbani kuanzia walipoishi Oyster Bay, Sea View, Mingo Street na hata wakati mwingine pale nje ya nchi kule London na Geneva. Dada Mwele alishiriki kwa njia moja au nyingine pale ambapo jamaa zilikutana na kwa ajili ya mwendwa au kwa ajili ya shughuli yote ya familia. Hakika tumepoteza nuru kubwa ndani ya familia lakini pia katika jamii yote. Hatuna budi kuendeleza yote mazuri. Dada Mwele alikuwa nyota iliyong'aa wakati wote na aliishi kama shujaa ambaye alikuwa makini, mahiri, maridadi, mnyenyekevu, mkakamavu na uzuri wa ndani na nje. Hakika tutakukumbuka dada na kukwenzi daima. Pole sana kwa msiba huu mzito kwa baba yetu, baba John Mahechela na familia yote pia na mama yetu mama Ana pole sote na wanafamilia wote akiwepo pia mabinti zetu kina Naomi lakini pia na Dr. Seche na ndugu wote raha ya milele upe bwana akumsike kwa amani neno kutoka Timotheo wa pili mlango wa nne na mstari wa saba mpaka wa nane naomba uendelee kuwa nasi I have fought the good fight I have finished the race I have kept the race Thank you so much Lele Sister Masha Makatayami Sante sana Was she is be a saint Every human being can stand an adversity but if you want to test one's character give him power and I'm sure Kwamba Dere Yetu has been able to stand out victorious despite getting power. May I now welcome Dr. Tigas Desela Mingetsu, the WHO representative in Tanzania. Okay. Then she has given a way forward to the regional director for WHO Office for Africa, Dr. Masito Oeti, if I didn't put your name, please welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. It's uh, Dr. Masidi So Oeti. I love you. Thank you. Dad. John Manichela and Mama, Senche, Naomi, family, officials of the government of Tanzania, colleagues from the international community working on health, friends, and colleagues. It's a very big privilege for me to stand in front of you and to celebrate and say goodbye to Dr. Mwele Manichela. Our dear friend, Polly, mother, daughter, sister, and mentor. I was fortunate to go to Geneva in February and visited well on two occasions. On the one, she and I, when we got together and went to Geneva, we used to like to eat at a Chinese restaurant. So I called and said to her, Mother, what can I bring you? And she said, bring me that chicken that you like so much and let's come and eat it together. So we had dinner in her hospital room and we chatted about many things. Of course, when Wella and I were met, we talked about work. But we also talked about family, we talked about friends, we talked about life. And she told me, you know, I'm going to start going back to work more and more, maybe just one hour at a time. It's been so refreshing to talk about possibilities. On my second visit, on the 29th of January, we said a long goodbye this morning. We recognized what was coming. We shared a tearful heart and we said we will see each other the next time. I hold this a huge privilege 
to have had the opportunity to say goodbye to my colleague, my friend, who contributed so much to the work that we did in WHO in Africa. So I'm standing here speaking on behalf of thousands of people, of Dr. Tedros, our Director General, of the WHO staff literally around the world, starting with our Afro team in Brazzaville and 47 African countries, our headquarters, other regions, and also we've heard from our colleagues about the many partners involved in work on neglected tropical diseases and involved in global health more broadly. I also speak on behalf of my family in Botswana because Mwela visited me when I was doing my campaign for election as regional director. And my sister, my brothers were very fond of Mwela afterwards. So I speak also on behalf of some people in Botswana. I know Mwela, this younger colleague, sister, and friend, and sometimes fellow conspirator, since we studied together at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. In 1986-97, I was doing my master's and she went on to do her PhD. Wella was a visionary leader. She was a vital catalyst and advocate for global health. For we've heard from the colleagues who work on the elimination and the eradication of the vector tropical diseases. She was above all a champion for impactful action and for the right of the poorest and most disadvantaged marginalized people to good health. She was a world-renowned and well-respected woman scientist, researcher, NTD expert, and public health leader. Most notably, she was well-loved in the international NTD community, which has been left bereft by her loss as her we in the virtual in Africa. I will not say more about the work that she did in her role as the director of neglect and tropical diseases in our headquarters, but she leaves a huge legacy in the world now. And I'd like to join others in promising you well that I and my colleagues in the WHO in the region will make sure that your vision is realized. We will follow your brilliant ideas and your energy. It was my huge privilege to invite Mwele to join WHO when it became clear that she might be available in 2017. I jumped at the chance. At that time, we were implementing a transformation agenda, seeking to improve WHO Africa's performance, our management, our culture. And I was looking for someone who would strongly and energetically embrace new ideas, bold change, and be part of a successful effort to promote those among our staff, among our partners, among governments in Africa. We succeeded beyond my wildest dreams because Mwele was my closest associate working as the director of my office, urging me on, urging on the staff, communicating our work, making sure that we were energized, we persisted despite the difficulties that we had. We worked together on rolling out several initiatives in our transformation programs, and she played a key role in designing the strategy and communicating about it, and in making sure that as part of our work, we promote women leadership. Well, and I decided there were far too few women in the neutral at leadership positions. I think this remains a reality. We instituted a program of leadership with a particular focus on women, which I'm proud to say has now been adopted by WHO globally, and we are rolling it out also to support member states to improve the leadership of their senior officials. So that is part of women's legacy, which I'm quite convinced will go on to bear absolute results. She was above all somebody who ensured that what God said did get done. We make many promises in our work in different spheres. Well, there was one person who followed up. She believed strongly in accountability. If you promise something, you better deliver it. And if you didn't deliver it, when a Chela wanted to know why not. She helped us to improve our delivery in WHO and our program on transformation has been recognized by the UN at the global level and has been proposed to be adopted and was also very instrumental in informing the transformation that the Tepedos is in, in implementing in WHO headquarters. 
I'd like to reflect on Wele as a human being, as an extraordinary person, as a vibrant personality, who lit up all the interactions with love, with warmth, with humor, with optimism. A beloved friend, a warm presence in my professional and my personal life. She was able to relate to our colleagues and our partners on a human level in a very unique way, as many staff, partners, and governments that we work with have attested. She reached out to and interacted with colleagues, genuinely cared about and got involved in helping them to solve their personal problems. She prayed with those who were going through tough times from her deep found of belief in God. I'd like to end by saying to God and to the family, thank you for having shared Wele with us. Thank you for having brought up this brilliant, beautiful, warm human being who gave of herself in so many spheres, not only in science, but also in politics but also in humanizing an organization where we sometimes forget that there are people working here who just want results. Again, I'd like to say we are committed to ensuring that her vision is realized. I personally will make sure that in Africa we work to follow Wella's brilliant ideas. I will remember her as a person who made me beautiful Tanzanian food. I will remember her as a director to whom I occasionally had to say some evenings, well, Please switch off your computer and go home so that I don't feel bad about leaving the office. She was that dedicated to her job. But I remember her most as a dear friend with whom I shared many trips around Africa and the world, many private moments of joy, humor, and most importantly, we shared a vision of making sure that African people, poor people around the world, get the health that they deserve. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Mwete Kialeboha Kialeboha Now, mani kukaribishe sasa MC Mavone kweza kukamilisha katika ule utaratibu wa ramirambi kwa yale magopi ya mwisho. Karebo. Ya, asante sana. Na wapa tuna tuwashukuru wote ambao wametoa salamu za ramirambi. Sasa, ni mkaribishe Prof. Mgaya mkumezi mkuu wa Nimri ndakumbuka wote kwamba marehemu dr Mwelechele alihudumu pale kama mpumzi mkuu na kama mfanyakazi kwa miaka 30 alikuwa pale professor Ngaya tafadhali kwa dakika mbili jitahidi ili tuweze kuokoa muda wetu tuelekee dodo Kari. na kama kuna rabilabi kama nilivyosema yuko pale mtu tayari kwa ajili ya hiyo Kari.
mwisho na wizara ya afya na kuitwa mpango wa taifa wa kudhibiti magonjwa yaliyokuwa hayapewi kipaumbele au mlete na mpango huu haukuwa tena magonjwa mawili kulidumisha magonjwa matano magonjwa wa matende na milimaji au lymphatic filariasis kolinga lakini pia magonjwa wa kuchocho sikisotosomiasis magonjwa wa mbele ya kumboni uh, soil transmitted helmets magonjwa wa kipoke au trachoma na magonjwa wa kusubi au onkosikiasis zote amene ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba kupitia utafiti na usimamizi mzuri wa utekelezaji wa mpango haya magonjwa matano yanatekelezwa Tanzania. Sisi kama na nini tunasema tutaendeleza hizi ni amele tutaendeleza ndoto ya mwele kuhakikisha kwamba haya magonjwa yanatekelezwa na magonjwa ni kisebikiongelea kwa mfano usuli kuna bali kulea kadhaa umesha kuweka kwa hiyo tunamini kabisa kwamba malengo yanatekelezeka na tutafikisha kwamba mimi mwele alikuwa mwele alikuwa classmate wangu kutupisa Dar es Salaam kwa miaka mitatu kusoma masoma eneo sanana tuka graduate na shahada ya zoology mwaka ya tumoja ni ya tisa kwa hiyo personally mwene kumusalena siku ingi na kila mtu walikuwa na kufatigia mwazake mafamikio yake, maendero yake na tumbo tunashawia na mara kwa mara kwa hiyo kwa tu sisi ni pengu kubwa kama ta sisi lakini pia ni pengo kubwa kwa marafiki zake wengi ambao tunajua wengi wao kwa hapa na wengine wanapenda kuwa hapa. Tunasema bwana ametoa bwana ametoa jina la bwana lijiwe mwele mzike kwa amani. Amen. Ya asante sana. Nashukuru sana Nimri. Ya. Asanteni sana na Rabi Rabi ambao wasilisha kwenye familia. Mheshimiwa Rais wa Zanzibar na Mheshimiwa Waziri Mkuu. Baba yetu mzee John Samuel Manechera amefanya kazi na viongozi wenzake. Kwa heshima naomba nimkaribishe speaker mstaafu Mheshimiwa Ana Makinda sehemu akiwa alifanya naye kazi lakini sisi wahehe wagogo na wabena ni ndugu karibu sana toa salamu kwa ufupi kabisa kwa heshima ya tukio hili na nikuombe mheshimiwa uh, Jack Sido alioba kujiandae kwa sababu na hukumu wote pamoja katika serikali ana Yesu asifiwe Asante sana uh, speaker mstaafu sasa mheshimiwa dr John 
Samuel Malechela alikuwa makamu wa rais wa kwanza na waziri mkuu za mstaafu sasa aliyemwachia kijiti alikuwa ni mheshimiwa Joseph Sinde Walioba makamu wa kwanza wa rais na waziri mkuu mstaafu tafadhali naomba uje uweze kutoa salamu tena kwa niaba ya mawaziri wote wa kuwa staafu tafsiru sana karibu
Lakini kwa ushahidi uliosemwa hapa tangu mtu wa kwanza kuzungumza na niseme pengine na taarifa tulizozipata mbali mbali huko kwingine si kwamba ndo nimefahamu leo nimemfahamu lakini sikuwa na fursa hiyo ya kuwa naye karibu kama watu wengine lakini ushahidi uliotolewa hapa bila shaka mwenzetu aliyelala siku ya leo maneno ambayo yameandikwa katika kitabu cha Wagalatia sita mstari wa saba Biblia inasema msidanganyike apandacho mtu ndicho atakachovuna Sisi tulioko hapa Sisi tulioko hapa tumesikiliza wema wa ndugu yetu aliyelala Ushujaa wa ndugu yetu aliyelala Mchango kwa nchi yake huyu ndugu yetu aliyelala Lakini mchango wake wa kitaaluma na mchango wake wa kifamilia na mchango wake kwa watu wengine ambao wala hawahusiki na familia yake. Kwa namsikiliza mkuu wa shule ya Weruweru akizungumza hapo. Pamoja na kwamba alikabidhiwa kama mtoto lakini ninachojua kwa sababu na mimi nimepita kwenye mikono ya walimu, walimu ukishafika shuleni basi wewe ni mtoto wao. Bila shaka huyu alikuwa ni kati ya watoto wazuri. Ndio maana amemzungumza hapa kwa ujasiri sana. Na katika uzuri ule nikawa nayatazama yale maneno yaliyoandikwa pale ya Timotheo wa pili nne saba kwamba nimevipiga vita vilivyo vizuri mwendo nimemaliza imani nimeilinda sisi leo tuliopata fursa ya kuja kumtazama mzee wetu malechela na familia nzima na kuapa pole katika changamoto hii na kusherehekea maisha ya ndugu yetu huyu siku yetu itakapofika tutaweza kusema tumevipiga vita vilivyo vizuri tutaweza kusema tumemaliza mwendo ndugu yetu tulitamani awepo lakini kwa yale aliyosemwa hapa sina shaka amemaliza mwendo kwa nini kwa sababu ameshatoa mchango mkubwa ulifika wakati wengine nao waendelee hapo ambapo ameishia yeye sasa wengine wenda tumeachwa na Mungu ili tumalizie yale ambayo bado vizuri. Mwenzetu kwa ushahidi uliotolewa hapa bila shaka amemaliza mwendo wake. Kila mmoja aliyehudhuria hapa atoke na hilo swali kwa sababu yale waliojifunza ndugu zetu akiwa hai. Sisi tujifunze leo akiwa amelala. Tunafanya nini tukiwa hai kwa wale wanaotuzunguka? Tunaweza kusema tunapigana vita iliyo nzuri. Tunaweza kusema siku tukiwa tumelala kwamba tumemaliza. Na je, tutakuwa tumeilinda imani? Mungu awabariki sana kwa kuja kuifariki familia hii. Na wapa pole sana kwa niaba ya bunge la Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania na michango yote ambayo ameitoa yeye huyo aliyelala hapa lakini mzee wetu Malechela mchango uliotoa kwa nchi hii na hivyo tumejifunza kwamba mambo haya hurithishwa wema wako ulimpa mtoto na mtoto ametoa mchango kwa dunia nzima tunakushukuru sana kwa fursa hiyo ambayo Mungu alikupa ili utuletee na sisi tunashukuru sana asante sana kwa kunisikiliza poleni sana kwa uwezaji wote asante sana mheshimiwa speaker wa bunge la jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania sasa kabla sijawaita viongozi wa juu kabisa wawili uh, kutoka hapa Tanzania bara na Biswani naomba sasa nimkaribishe Tuli alete salamu na ujumbe wa watoto wa Dr. Mwelechele na basi itapendeza kama utatumia pale juu na yale maandalizi yote yaliyowekwa na tunakubaliana kwa ajili ya kutunza muda Ya, tuli. Sorry, naomba hebu teremke uje hapa. Kwa ajili ya mawasiliano tafadhali kaji
tunasoma message hizi ambazo tunazipokea kutoka kwa nieces wetu na nephews wetu na watoto wake na baba wakitumia hizi message ya gaiti pedo nitasoma kama zilivyoandikwa Dada pale tulimuita nyumbani kwa jina la la nickname Titi kwa hiyo ili ndio ni ana watoto ametumia sana hapa Dear Titi This might be one of the most horrible and saddest event everyone has gone through You are like a mother figure to all of us You are like my other parent You taught me so much gave me advice and help me fix my problems. You were the first person I would reach out to in, in situations where I didn't know what to do because you you always tried your hardest to understand and care for everyone. You also took care of me when I broke my arm and even though sometimes I might be a pain, you still took care of me, which is why I forever be grateful to you Didi. I just wish that I had a chance to talk to you one last time. But I do know that you are one of the most strongest women I have ever seen because you managed to fight against cancer and other illnesses for a long time. And I only wish you could know how proud I am of you. and how i love you so 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 much this is in fair duty you deserve a lot more and there's no one else in the world like you you're one of a kind i will love you forever and ever may your soul rest peacefully auntie this message is from mama my daughter i remember me and now me arguing all the time and she would stop and tell us that she would love and look that we should love and look after each other rather than idle i also remember my first time mindu moving into mindu street i was so nervous leaving cambridge but didi always made sure i felt comfortable i will never forget her every day breakfast it was two sunny side up eggs fried tomato and two pieces of toasted bread with hot tea and i would also never forget when i went to zanzibar with didi and auntie Lupe. i had the best time ever this is a message from my sister son who is in the us dear didi we love you we love you we love you gone so soon there were so many memories we made and there was still so much more to make i remember when we first moved to pennsylvania we were all sleeping on air mattresses because we still had yet to furnish the house it was still morning and i was sleeping and auntie sacha went to take a shower i remember hearing zina are you awake in a loud whisper i wake up and saw her smiling at me i am now i said back and we laughed she wanted to go on a 3 km walk that day so we all did things won't ever be the same without you didi i won't be able to make you sunny side up eggs anymore or go to another walk with you or help priska prepare a nice bath for you Whenever Auntie Sacha goes shopping, she'll be missing her sister, who would help her pick clothes, but also get distracted with things that caught her eye. Naomi won't be able to smother you in kisses, and Dad will be missing his Dr. Dre. We all lost something. Whatever, it's an amazing aunt, a mother. 
a sister, a best friend. You're so strong. And everyone appreciate you for all the memories you've created that we will, we will have forever. You'll forever be remembered, Kubomwele. I love you so much. A message from my niece, Ezerina, from the U.S. Dear Didi, you may be gone, but in reality, you are still here with us. Where we go, whatever we do, you are still here. It may not be in person, but you're here in our heart. We may only be able to see you in pictures or videos, but the memories we have, <laughs> you're unforgettable. I remember when I made you a bubble bath and you couldn't wait to take another one. Your favorite, favorite candle was the red one that sat next to you. That's what I remember. I also remember the joke we had every time we saw each other. Have you seen the state of that chapati in a British accent? And we would laugh every time. I miss you so much. You taught me how to be a lady when I was younger. And I still remember everything you told me. I remember when I was sleeping, you tapped my shoulder and asked if I was sleeping. You asked if I was still awake, so I woke up and told you I was. And just talked until you got tired and fall asleep. These are the memories no one can take away from me. I'll always remember you. You are such a caring person. Never yelled at me. Very soft spoken. And most importantly, you are a fighter. I'm happy you are in a better place now. Hopefully you can get all the money you want. And hopefully you are happy. I can somewhat really easily knowing that you are in a you are in a safe you are in safe hands. You can fight until the end. You'll always be the strongest woman I know, Didi, always. We thought of you in love today, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and day before that too. We think of you in silence. We often speak your name. Now all we have is memories and your pictures frame. Your memory is our keepsake with which we will never part. God has you in the keeping. We have you in our hearts. Krista, that's our listening. We have you in our hearts. We have you in our hearts. We have you Be my family. Mama will always be a good girl. 
and each dawn past of ties and whisper words of love to you, my darling daughter Wale, as you descend into the heavens where you belong. I want you to know that you were and will forever be the wind beneath my wings. Message from Baba. Asante sana tuli kwa kuletea eh video na matozi ya watoto wa Dr. Marichele. Pole sana Mungu atawapa nguvu. Wasimamo mbolezaji wote familia imemlilia Dr. Marichele. Taifa kadhalika mmesikia sauti mbalimbali. Kwa taifa mmesikia ujumbe mbalimbali. Sasa kwa heshima ya tukio hili kabla tujaaga mwili wa, wa marehemu lakini pia kabla tujapata salamu za shukrani kwa naomba nichukue tumie eh, fursa hii adhimu kumkaribisha mheshimiwa Kasim Majaliwa Majaliwa Mbunge waziri mkuu wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania aweze kutoa salamu za serikali karibu sana
mtu ambaye ametoa mchango mkubwa ndani ya serikali kwa uzuni hii huko pamoja naendelea kumlilia na kitu naamini yote ni mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu ndugu mwanzaji wenzangu jukumu letu ni kuendelea kumuombea pendo wetu dada yetu baba yetu ambaye tutangulie mbele za haki na yuko tuko naye hapa ndio mlala watangulizi wangu waliozunguza hapa yote wanaonyesha mazuri mengi aliyofanya watu wao kazi kubwa ya kuenzi yale mazuri yote aliyofanya kwenye utumishi wake wa umma kipindi chote cha maisha yake akiwa nje pia utumishi wa umma lakini leo hii marehemu ametangulia mbele za haki akiwa kule nje akitumikia taifa letu kule nje kwa ametuhakikisha vizuri sana leo wajibu huo ni jambo letu kubwa la kuenzi mazuri aliyofanya katika dunia naomba nianze kwa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Mungu wa rehema kwa kutujalia uhai na uzima na kutuwezesha kujumuika leo hapa. Kuja kumwaga ndugu yetu, rafiki yetu, wengine wetu mfanya kazi mwenzetu, marehemu Dr. Mwele Aleja nachukua fursa hii kwa niaba yangu binafsi na kwa niaba ya mzee mwingi na familia ya mzee mwingi ambao leo wamependa sana wawepo hapa lakini kwa bahati mbaya wako nje nchi lakini wanatuma salamu zao za rambi rambi wanamuomba Mwenyezi Mungu nikufikishie ni salamu kwamba wanamuombea marehemu na nyingi wanamuomba Mwenyezi Mungu awape utumilivu katika kipindi hiki kibovu. Ndugu zangu, mimi nimesimama hapa. Marehemu Dr. Mwele nikifahamu hivi. Wakati wazazi wetu, Mama Richela na Mzee Mwinyi wakifanya kazi pamoja sisi familia zetu zilikuwa kani. Tulikuwa marafiki, tulikuwa majirani, tulikuwa kama ndugu. Lakini nimefahamu vizuri zaidi 
Marehemu Dr. Manisela katika shughuli zetu za kazi. Wakati mimi nikiwa naibu waziri wa afya Marehemu Dr. Manisela alikuwa akifanya kazi mimi katika nafasi mbalimbali mpaka alipofikia nafasi ya mtokezi mkuu. Kwa kweli wote waliomzungumzia Dr. Manisela ya katika maisha yake ya kazi wameyasema yote. Huyo ni mtu ambaye alikuwa committed, dedicated, a very professional. Binafsi nikifanya naye kazi nimemuona alipokuwa akijituma. Akitaka mambo yawe yafanikiwe. Na kwa kweli ameipa sifa nchi hii kwa program alizozifanya akiwa nyuma. Kila mara nikizungumza na washirika wetu wa maendeleo, nikizungumza na taasisi za umoja wa kimataifa, wa umoja wa mataifa, ilikuwa ni wanamwagia sifa Dr. Mwele kwa kazi kubwa aliyokuwa akifanya hususan katika program hizi za malaria za za matende pamoja na ile ya NTB. Kwa kweli sina maneno zaidi ya kuongeza. Zaidi ya kusema kwamba Dr. Marehemu Dr. Malechela ameitumikia nchi yake. Amefanya kazi kama tulivyoambiwa hapa miaka 30 akiitumikia nchi yake. Kwa kweli sisi sote tunapaswa tujiulize endapo tutaweza kufikia yale ambayo Dr. Malechela ameyafikia. Lakini ukipaka ukiacha upande wa kazi kama binadamu alikuwa ni mtu ana utu mkubwa. Na ndio maana leo tumejumuika hapa sote sisi kila mmoja hapa anaweza kuwa aliguswa na marehemu Dr. Mwele. Alikuwa karibu sana na watu. Alikuwa anapenda kusaidia. Na kwa kweli siwezi kuyasema yote lakini tuseme tu kwamba katika ibada tunaambiwa ibada sio tu kuyafanya tulioamrishwa na Mwenyezi Mungu na kuyaacha aliyotukataza bali pia kuwatumikia watu. Hilo Dr. Mwele alifanikiwa. Ndugu zangu, wamwelezaji zangu. Viongozi wa dini wanatuambia kwamba katika kifo kuna mawaidha. Itoshe sisi tuliobaki. Kujiuliza siku ambayo wakati wetu utafika tutazungumzwa kama haya na uzungumzwa kuhusu Dr. Mwele. Lakini vile vile tunaambiwa kwamba maisha ni hadithi. Tumejaribu kuacha hadithi njema kama hii tunayozungumza leo hapa ya mwezetu. Katika kipindi kama hiki kupata maneno mazuri na kwa ngumu lakini tuna wajibu mmoja wa kumuombea kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ailaze roho yake mahali pe mapeponi na vile vile tuna wajibu wa kumuombea nyinyi familia Mwenyezi Mungu awape uvumilivu katika kipindi hiki cha majonzi kolewe sana Mzangu naomba nimalizie kwa mara nyingine tena kusema kwamba msiba huu umetukusa sote. Umetukusa sote kwa sababu huyu aliyetangulia mbele ya haki. Ni mtu wa karibu sana kwa mimi binafsi na kwa familia yangu. Dr. Sente aliniomba kwa maneno ya wala neno. Kwa 
ada ada di sana. Namun bahaya yang dirasai maratus. Oleh Nisa. Asante sana kiongozi wetu mheshimiwa Rais wa Zanzibar mheshimiwa Dr. Hussein Mwinyi pamoja kutupa salamu za baba yetu mzee Mwinyi. Asante sana viongozi kwa hakika wanasema sauti ya wengi ni sauti ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Fox Popri, Fox Bay. The voice of the people is the voice of God. Sasa kabla tujaunga mwili wa mpendwa wetu tutapokea salamu za shukrani kutoka kwa watu wawili uh, kwanza kwa ndema kwa niaba ya kazi wote kule uh, Geneva alafu atafuata bwana Kashanju kwa niaba kwa niaba ya familia ya mzee Malechela ndema tafadhali na kuwapo kwa ufupi kabisa naomba unitoe hizo salamu Hizi ni shukurani Hizi ni shukurani tumeshamaliza maelezo mbalimbali sasa ni shukurani tunafuata
ngoma za kihehe na pia kucheza ngoma za kihehe sana. Pia mtendo cha kuendelea na jibani kwetu bila ulipoweza. Cheo chako au nafasi yako ya kazi ya kuzuia wewe kuwa mwenyekevu. You are down to earth. Asante sana mpendwa wetu wewe. Daima utakuwa milioni kwetu. Tunamuomba Mwenyezi Mungu akulaze kwa amani katika ufalme wake wa mbinguni na ashushe roho mtakatifu wa faraja kwa familia yako ikiwa ni pamoja na baba mshirika wa Mzee Samuel Marichela mama wanetu na watoto wetu wapenzi na wadogo zako Professor Senche Mwendwa Tuli na ndugu zao wengine wote pamoja na marafiki zako dunia nzima Warumi nane, ishirina nane Warumi nane, ishirina nane nasema Nasi tunajua ya kuwa Katika mambo yote mungu itenda kazi Pamuja na wote wa mpendao Wale ambao wameito kufuatana na makuzi yake Mungu usanya hivyo kufaida yako Guriani, mpendao yetu mwele hati kaputaka pota Na yotena katika ufame wa mbiguni Asante sana. Ni ingependa tu kusema kwamba ujumbe huu umeandaliwa na madada na marafiki wa mwele wa karibu e, wafuatao. Dr. Winnie Mpanje Shimbosho, WHO Assistant Director General Retired from Headquarters Geneva. Dr. Elin Petit Mshana, Retired WHO Health Systems Advisor, ambaye alifanya kazi kwenye country offices za Tanzania, Gambia, Kenya, WHO Ekota na Afro Regional Office in Nigeria Dr. Teopista Kabuteni kutoka WHO Rwanda na Dr. Nema Habibu ambaye ni mimi hapa Asante sana Ya, tunakushukuru sana Nema kwa ujumbe huo na shukurani hizo kutoka kwa wenzako Sasa naomba ni mwalike kwa niaba ya familia andugi yangu kasiyaju kufadhali uje kwa ajili ya kutoa neno la shukurani kwa niaba ya familia ya baba yetu mzee Malechela na hapo ndipo kafuata sasa wachungaji e, kuja kutoa sala e, ya mwisho ya Buriani ya Buriani tayari kwa kwanza kuaga mwili wa Pedro karibu sana kwa sana asante sana kwanza kabisa ningependa kuwashukuru watu ninyi wote ambao umefika hapa na uko kuanzia siku mpya ya kompata baba yangu kwa nasi kutufaliki kutupatole na kumbo leza msibabu ningependa kwanza ni mshukuru mwenyezi mungu ambaye hamefanya maajabu kumipanya dada angu hawe katika haya manenu ambayo tunasikia wanasema kitu ikionati wawezi kukijua ya kamani mpaka kinapo kuondoka ukona ni mwaku na hala baada ya msiba kutokea Nilokuwa nikisoma hizo rambirambi na watu ya nabirambika huku Nukawa na juliza Nili ni dadangu huyu huyu au ni dada mingini ambaye na msikia hapa Nenezi mungu tunakusukuru kwa kutifanya kwe sehebu Ya dada yetu mwene Tunajibumia huyu dada yetu Vile vile ningependa Kwa shukuru Wafanyikazi wainzie Toko kwa WHO Kianza na Dr. Mwete hapa ambaye pandia moja wa nyingine alifanikisha umi kumfanya Dr. Mwela Jiunge na WHO Kuna wakati kama nama sema kama ambapo mekisha sema dadangu huyu alikuwa ni mtu ambaye hana papara mwenye kweza kusikiliza na kutuwa mawaiti Kilipotokea tu kigugumizi kidogo huko nimi nimi ni moja wapo ambao nimi nimi chanda kwa kidogo lakini badala ya kumfariki ya mimi kumfariki yeye yeye ya kwa na nifariki mimi haikupita mga ndo wamepata kazi huko WHO ya kaniambia kwa kunaona mapenzi ya mwenyezi mungu kia mwenyezi mungu wa na mpango na binadamu wa na mpango wa na ikawa kama mipango ya mwenyezi mungu anapo hamefanya kwanza kukongo kazi vili na doke mwete hapa badala kwa hamia huko jiniva na wakati huo ikawa bahati vile vile nimi nikawa jirani na ee uko mikiwa ukolanzi mikiwa wangwa kiwa balozi pale nchi jirani kwa hiyo matatizo ya kuanza kumpata ilikuwa ni laisi na kimbia na kuenda kumuona na kumfariji na dadarote na afikitu kutana mara kuanza pale 
Lakini yeye unafika pale yeye ndo anakupa na ujada kaka hii nitapita kwa usiwe na wasiwasi. Na kama leo mwenye askofu ameongea kwa kanisani sana. Atazungumza kwamba ndio ndio binadamu tunapaswa kuondoka uondoke kwa mazuri sio kama sisi wengine ambao tunapenda kinywaji. Lakini baadhi baadhi sema ukweli namfika na umma anambia kijangu nimekutarisha pia utakuja yeye kwa
tutasema sala kwa ajili ya kwanza kuitimisha jambo hilo bwana usemu ya rafiki yangu wewe katika sema ombeni mtapewa tafteni mtaona nisheni mtafunguliwa kwa jina la Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu amen Asante sana naomba tukae Sasa tunaianza safari ya kumwaga mpendwa wetu kutoka kama ifuatavyo kutoka kama ifuatavyo tayari kwa kufuata utaratibu wa hierarchia huo ambao umeandaliwa kwa kutoka hapo. Basi safari wa mheshimiwa wa rais wa Zanzibar naomba sasa tupite tukiaga tupunguze naomba msimpe mkono tafadhali hebu jitahidini Mungu wangu. Naomba tumpige ile ya bawi naomba msimpe mkono. Nashukuru sana speaker anaonyesha mfano. Ya yeah. Let's not shake hands please. Asante 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 sana. Wakipita hapa viongozi Baada ya mama kitu Bati zuri tumewataja wote Wote tumewataja Viongozi wa chama Wote tumewataja Maja kitu wa CCM Kwa Viongozi wa CCM Wilaya Wa ishima madiwani wote Wote nimesho wataja Sasa naomba kutite tafadhali Profesa Profesa Naomba sana profesa Jezuie, ebu waache, wapite, ili tuweza kukua mda. Otherwise, we'll not make it. Si tuongeze kasi sasa kisapita huyu mama naomba tuongeze kasi tafadhali Makama nilivyosema zika na viongozi wote nimeona kaen tafadhali kaen usidandie utaratibu kaen tafadhali bingine bado tafika mahali be patient kawaita wote fanya haraka tufanye haraka tafadhali ya ndabije chuo hapa usiondoke Again, lakini like usiwondo wa kenede mitu Again, lakini like nende kwa nani Naomba mwe wa minifu Wa simamisho wote wali wakuna po katika atu wote Naomba mwe wa minifu kwa utonatibu Kuna uweka Kwe nyume ya mti naomba Mtu yote asisimani ya hali wakutu kwa nani Naomba mwe na subi Na msio na wasuwasi wote Kila mtu wa mwata kuhusa yu 
basi wakati tukiwa tunazidi kuja ni waombe tu jambo moja kwamba tujitahidi kutowakumbatia wana familia kwa ajili ya usalama wao eta fadhari za afya zikiwa bado zinazikatiwa vile vile wale ambao wanajiona hawana moyo mkuu na hawataweza kustahimili basi ni vema usije kuliko ufike uanze kudondoka uanze kuishiwa nguvu kwa sababu hakuna watu waweza kutoa msaada wa karibu waweza kubeba hapa jirani zeke kwa wale ambao umefika kumbuka watu ni wengi sana muda sio rafiki kwa hiyo tunajitahidi kwamba tuchukue zoezi hili kwa muda mfupi zaidi. Kwa hiyo naomba spidi ongezeke na tafadhali ukifika hapo usichukue muda mrefu zaidi. Dada Encho tafadhali ukiwa tayari. Encho Magoti ukiwa tayari unaweza kuendelea. Naomba muongeze mwendo tafadhali mnaotoa heshima naomba muongeze mwendo tafadhali Mtatuia radhi tunawaharakisha sio utaratibu mzuri lakini muda sio rafiki tumebanwa sana na ratiba nyingine ambayo hatuna control nayo nje hapa Naomba muongeze mwendo tafadhali
That is all I'm taking with me. So goodbye. Taratibu itakuwa ni hivi Nimri utasimama upande mmoja WHO utasimama upande wapili Na nivyo mtakafo beba mwili kupeleka kwenye gari Dereva wa gari nililo beba mwili Tunakuomba usogeze gari semi yake Ili tuweze kwa tayari Dereva wa gari ambaye nilibeba baba na mama wa mwene tafadhali Naomba usogeze Gari la wazazi So I was the one we thought that grew only A beautiful place without A beautiful face without a name A beautiful smile to hide the Did you ever know that you're my hero? Sasa, ni waombe, and everything I would like to be. Nasta kwa nabiye jo, nipange mistari miwele.
asante sana yumkini umefanya kazi kubwa sana na hakika utakuwa na wimbo mmoja wa mwisho pale mwili utakavyokuwa unapelekwa kwenye gari na tumaini uko vizuri na dawa sawa sasa ni waombe staff staff wa WHO pamoja na libri okay wengine upande huu wengine upande huu lakini vile vile kuna staff wa WHO ambao mtahusika kubeba maua na tumaini nimeshajipanga vizuri Askari Boni tuweze kubeba na kuvutisha moja kwa moja. Karibuni. Shika chini kabisa. Shika chini kabisa. Chini kabisa. Chini kabisa. Aya, tuanze kwenda. Wengine naomba staff wa ndio wengine. Deleni kule tumepanga mstari mmoja na unapofilewa. Sawa. Ukishapokea unaenda jua kabisa kule mwishoni kabisa. Ukishasaidia kubeba unaenda mwishoni kabisa. Enjo mengi. Wasindikize moja kwa moja. Tumefanya. Tukiwa. Leo basi tunaomba tusaidie kubeba maua hivyo asante. Micheko. Na vilio. Tumeshiriki. Mwendele kupokea Saidia neni staff Saidia neni Heo Umelala Hausiki Mwendele kupokea Mwendele kupokea Mwendele kupokea